All right, time to rev up those engines. NASCAR is returning home this weekend to Charlotte Motor Speedway for the Coca-Cola 600. And there is a studio just a few miles from the track that's home to the number one daily sports show tied to the racing series. It airs nationally on FS1, but all the production is done right here in Charlotte. Queen City News reporter Brett Baldick is live at Charlotte Motor Speedway this morning with a behind-the-scenes look at how NASCAR Race Hub is produced every single day. Good morning, NY and uh, Jason. So NASCAR Race Hub is a staple among NASCAR fans, including myself. It airs five days a week, and this year their ratings are up 32% compared to the same time last year. And they are nominated for a sports Emmy for Outstanding Studio Show. And although the studio is just a few miles away from here at the racetrack, and this is a crown jewel event, they started planning this week's shows a few weeks ago. Just outside University City, you'll find the Fox Sports production facility. It has more than 50,000 square feet of space available for production of live programming. Hey, let's go back to the beginning of the show. Because Within we a 60 by 60 foot studio, NASCAR Race Hub airs five days a week. Going, it just had that big event feel. Our visit to the show was on a Monday, less than 24 hours after the All-Star Race in Texas. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, we've already started to plan things. We've known what's gone on in the race prior. We know what's gonna happen uh, the next weekend. So Monday's definitely an in limbo day. A team of producers make sure all the content comes together and is timed out right to fit within an hour long window. Get up. <laughs> the team has putting the program on the air down pat. Since premiering in 2009, it has become a staple among NASCAR fans and drivers who are often tapped as guest analysts. What I am most proud of is the relationship uh, with the garage and the respect we have from the competitors th themselves. To me, that is, is really what makes Race Hub what it is. Race Hub wouldn't be possible without a set. What you see on TV isn't what you see in person. The studio is 100% virtual. Yeah. But then you look at Ryan Blaney since that last points win. The, the green allows for a unique you display of right video there. and graphics, <laughs> including <laughs> virtual cars. America's like crew chief, Larry McReynolds, has spent the past year working to make the cars look as real as possible. Making sure that, that our bodies of the Ford Mustang uh, of, of the Toyota Camry, of the Chevrolet Camaro, that when we had that virtually in the set as we do, that it absolutely duplicated what their car actually looks like. On top of his hours working on the look, Larry is an analyst for Race Hub and Cup Series telecasts. But much like a driver, he doesn't want to slow down. I feel very blessed and fortunate that my hobby is racing, and I get to make a living talking about racing, and again, I, I love the 22 years I've been doing it, which is over a third of my life, and I hope I'm doing it as long as they'll have me. Now, again, this week's, this weekend's Coca-Cola 600, I should say, is uh, a very special and one of the bigger events in NASCAR. So this week's NASCAR Race Hub shows will focus much more on the analysis and previewing what's going to happen here at the Speedway this weekend. And why and Jason, back to you. Brett, that's fascinating. You know, we talk about that technology that's inside these cars with NASCAR, but all that technology in their studio. I had no idea the entire thing was a green screen room. And you got to think about all the computers and the graphic artists that are creating those cars and, and cool looking things. Man, that's, that's really fascinating. Yeah, and the thing is, you can't wear green, as we all know, to, uh, because if they wore like a green shirt or anything, they would uh, basically become a part of the set and the cars would be popping out of their stomach and their heads and all that stuff. So <laughs> anything's possible except wearing green when you work on NASCAR Race Hub. And